Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Momentum Stock Time once again with Mike Vodica, our Momentum Stock Analyst at Zach's.com. He's brought a couple of uh, interesting selections this time. You're in the zone with AutoZone. That's one that you want to look at, A-Z-O, the ticker symbol. Yeah. Um, AutoZone is a kind of a playoff of what we're seeing happening in, with the, the, you know, the general consumer environment and also the auto industry. And AutoZone, they just sell car parts and allows people to kind of upgrade existing, existing models here. Mm -hmm. And these stores have done fairly well over the last year as uh, consumers have migrated away from purchasing new. Um, Auto's, moving back a little bit, AutoZone is fairly big. Uh, it's an $8.5 billion market cap. And they have over 4,000 stores in the United States, so they have a fairly strong presence. And um, you know, the macro level economic environment has translated into really nice results for the company. Um, their third quarter results were on May 27th were really solid. Uh, sales were up 9%, and their income was up 10%. Earnings came in at $3.13, so that's a really nice, really nice production right there. Um, from an estimates, from a valuation perspective, um, estimates are up a little bit. The current year is at 1170, mm -hmm. and so their PE multiple is 13 times, and that's actually right about now. That's just a, a slight discount to the overall market, so that's a fairly reasonable valuation for a stock like this that's growing in this environment, which is unique, of course. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to the chart here, um, you know what I've noticed is that there's there's two kinds of stocks right now: stocks that have taken off in March, or stocks that kind of took off in November of last year. This particular stock took off in November of last year, and more recently it's kind of traded sideways, but on a shorter term basis it's had fairly nice returns. I was going to say, it looks like it's kind of leveling off there by that. It, ha it has leveled off a little bit, but you know, look, based upon the valuations, there's definitely upside um, to the share price right now. And the next year estimate's fairly bullish too, so it looks good. All right, and if you're hungry for profits, you may want to check out <laughs> P.F. Chang's China Bistro. Mike has. P, what is that, PFCB, the ticker symbol, right? Yeah, that's right, PF Chang's. Um, this is a, a restaurant company, and they have two different restaurants. The higher-end restaurant would be the PF Chang, which I'm, some people may be familiar with that. Mm -hmm. And then the more middle-tier one is uh, Pai Wei. Uh, between the two stores, they have about 350 restaurants, and the company as a total has a market cap of $734 billion. So significantly smaller than the other one, but you know, a decent-sized company. Um, and this kind of, it's a little bit more of a, a non-traditional momentum pick, particularly in this environment right now. That's why I wanted to showcase this company is that a lot of, a lot of um, restaurants in general have really suffered as consumers have pulled back. They're eating home more often. They're opting for less expensive dining options. But this company has held up fairly well. When they reported their first quarter results in April, uh, they actually saw an uptick in their sales. Sales are up 1%. But the, the company focused on operational efficiencies and cost cutting, so they were able to drive their income with, those, with, that, with that approach. And um, their earnings came in at 53 cents, 20 cents ahead of the estimate, or, or 20 cents ahead of the consensus, consensus estimate. So that was a really nice beat. And they offered sort of timid guidance. They said sales would be mostly flat, but they did hold their earnings guidance for the rest of the year. So that's a, a positive affirmation for the market. And then. You know, finally, moving on to the chart, like I mentioned before, two kinds of stocks. Stocks that have been rallying since November and stocks that really started rallying in March. This is a stock that started rallying in March, and it was trading right around uh, the you know, $15, $16 level, and since then it's crossed 33 so it's more than doubled. That's a, a fairly nice run right there. All right. Do you own either of these two? Uh, no, I don't. There may be just two kinds of stocks, according to Mike, but there's more than two stocks that he's written about recently, and you can see all of well, not all of them, but you can see about four or five of them. If you go to Zacks.com's homepage and click on the headline that's right next to the Momentum category in the upper right-hand corner of Zacks.com. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.